so uh, you're most welcome again in this video we are going to be looking at options uh, which will enable us to convert text values into columns we have our data values into uh, microsoft worksheet open here it's about the baron payment rule we have uh, different data values now we are going to look at how we can change this into different columns first and foremost i'll go ahead and put this into uh, the I'll change this to border so that you can easily see uh, how the columns and rows are separated. So I go and select the entire worksheet. After selecting the entire worksheet, then I go and tap the border, then I select the whole border. Now from here, you can now see that I have uh, different data values in different uh, columns. Like I'm going to be dealing with uh, column what? Column B. Column B is having data values for assumptions and key financial data and we are going to see how we can change this into different columns so to do that you select the entire values that you want to change so in this case i'm going to select uh, from this i select the all values after selecting this then i go to one of i go to the ribbon of tabs in the ribbon of tabs you select data Remember, we have uh, many tabs in the ribbon, starting from file, form, insert, and so on. So what you're going to select, you select data tab. When you select that tab, you get a list of tools. And one of these tools that you're going to use here is the one that says text to column. We have a tool which says text to column. It is under data tools in a group called data tools. So go ahead and select that. When you click on that, you get a dialog box window that will pop up on the screen. On this dialog box window, we have two uh, paths. The first one is called delimited. The second one is called fixed width. So we are going to use delimited. Delimited is the one which uses characters such as comma, tabs, separate or to separate each field. So when you look at our data, we, you see something like space. So we are going to use delimited because our data values that we have selected has spaces so after that go to next so when you select next now you get the delimiters we have different types of delimiters we have uh, the first one which is called the tab then we have semicolon we have comma we have space and then others so when you look at our data in this column b we have like the first one which is loan principal account we have three words all separated with the space that's why you see uh, among our delimiter, we have the space, the second last. So what we are going to do, even before we go further, you can see down in data preview, we have already columns which are already uh, shown that how our data is going to be selected uh, based on our, uh, 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 based on what we are doing, based on the delimiters that are already selected. So from here, we are going to next. Now, when you select next, uh, it will give you the destination. Now, where is the destination? Where do you want uh, the first column to be of this data that we are trying to change from text to uh, uh, different columns? Uh, for now, by default, it's giving B2. But when you look at B2, this is B2, meaning that it's going to replace this one. So we don't want this. We want to give it a different uh, destination. So I, I want you to remove that, then from there, you come and select where you want to, uh, the data to be. So I'm going to select this, uh, which is the F2. F2, that is the column F, row 2, like this one. Select this, which is the F, F2, this is F3. Yeah, I'm going to put this one here. Or you can put that one, F2. So when you select F2, now that's going to be your destination. So the next thing you are going to do is to uh, go ahead and select finish. So when you select finish, now the all of this information which is highlighted is going to be turned into different columns. So if you have, for example, two spaces, you'll have data in two columns. If you have three spaces, you'll have data in three columns. So when you select finish, now you can see the data has been uh, put into these cells with different columns, like. As you see, if I can adjust the width, adjust the width so that this data fits there well, now you can see uh, that uh, 
I have how many columns? I have three, four columns. The first column is uh, having uh, like the, this assumption. Of course, they didn't have any space. That's why you see it has occupied the first column. Then you have all the first values, all the first values, the first data values are in the first column, uh, which is column F. Then the second, like if you see long principal amount, like the first one which is long is in the, the first column. Then the second value, which is in the, which is principal, is in the second column D. Then you have the third value, which is amount, is in the third column H. That's how now we have converted from text value, which is just a text value of three words, into three columns. And then we have like this one, which has uh, like uh, let me see years payment. Like when you see years, this this column or this yeah this cell which is B six. It has years until balloon payment. It has four spaces. That's why you see here uh, the first uh, the first column which is F. It has years. The first one, the second column which is G has until which is there. Then the third one which is H has the word balloon which is there. And the fourth one which has payment has that one. So now regardless of the number of text values that you have in Microsoft Excel, as long as they have those types of delimiters like the tab, comma, semicolon, and space, you can easily convert them from text into different columns. Thank you guys for watching. I want you to go and practice this so that you can use them in your daily life. In the next video, we shall look at more related uh, tools, more related work with different tools so that you can familiar with Excel. Thank you. Uh, let's see you guys in the next video.